Hey everyone, it's Carrie here and thank you so much for joining me for another weekly dose of inspiration to build a successful business. So today we are talking all about how to take your idea from just testing it and turn it into a winner. So taking your amazing ideas and making them brilliant. And we are joined by Hilary Rubin, who is a spiritual life and business coach and the creator of the Art of Becoming a Coach training program. So Hilary, thank you so much for joining us. <laughs> I'm so happy to be here and I just love hearing you speak. I love your accent. Again, I'm one of those people. I'm not an Anglophile, but I love the English accent. Right. So you can just keep saying it and doing a few more things. Thanks. <laughs> um, so I am so excited to talk to you about this stuff today because We've all got so many ideas, but so many of us actually never managed to turn them into a successful reality. Um, some of us actually managed to get our ideas out of our head, but then we, they just, 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 they're just a flop. Um, so, you know, why is it that this happens to so many people? Why is it that so many people struggle to turn their ideas into a successful reality? It's such a great question and I'm really happy to talk about it, you know, going from beta to brilliant. And so many people just take an idea, they think it's brilliant and it usually is. However, they're in an incubator. They don't, they're like, this is what I want to bring out into the world. And um, they don't talk to anybody about it. They don't even know if anybody's looking for it. And then they go out with this brilliant thing, put up a website, spend all this money, time, energy and then they launch it and then or they get out there and nobody wants it and they wonder why and they basically wonder why what's wrong with them and to me that's the biggest thing that I see with entrepreneurs is like I don't know what I'm doing I'm not good enough and all this other stuff trips up when really that's not the problem yeah so obviously um, I know you're going to be sharing tips with us for us all to take on how to actually go from just testing out an idea to making it a winner but obviously this is something that you have done so can you share a little bit about your experience with this yeah totally you know I was that person who put a lot of things out there and I would have a program a coaching program and I would have two people in it now to me two people was a success because two people were paying me to do something I never did before and I wasn't quite sure what I was doing so it still was a success, but I wanted 20 people. You know, everybody's like, I want 20, I'll be happy. And then, you know, the fact that if two people buy, it's great, still do it because you have to learn to see what you're doing. So I believe as entrepreneurs and doing the businesses that we're doing, we're getting paid to do what we don't know what to do half the time <laughs> um, until we kind of get the experience and figure it out. So for me, back in 2012, you know, I'm coaching, I'm doing my thing and I noticed in one of the Facebook groups that I was part of so many people asking me how I became a coach. I'm not certified. Uh, I went through a lot of other life experiences and other trainings. I was a yoga teacher and then I just wanted to transition into coaching and I did that um, starting back in 2009 is when I started doing it and had mentors and all that. So then it eventually got to a point where I wanted to shift my business and I noticed all these people asking me key point asking me how I became a coach. That's the number one thing you guys is like people are asking you for things and you may not be paying attention. Um, so that's just like a little side hint. So, um, so basically I had over 60 people asking me how did you become a coach and so I did a call and I answered it and I think that actually happened in 2011. So that happened in 2011. 2012 the same thing happened because this business, online business group, whatever, they asked again. And then I said, who here wants to learn how to create, you know, to be a coach? And there was tons of people. So I emailed all of them and then I spoke to probably 20 of them and I started asking them questions. So tell me what you want. And I had an idea of creating a coach training program even though I had no idea how I was going to do it. I'm not a left brainer. I was like, how am I going to teach them to do what I did? Uh, but I put that aside. I just had conversations because I was more focused on what they were looking for and if what I was doing was something they wanted. So out of those, I don't know, about 20 of them, 12 of them agreed and they said, yes, I want to do something like you. I want to create my own system of coaching. I want to have my own thing. I'm not interested in a certification. And it was great. You know, 12 out of 20, that's a good number. And so we did a, a minimal payment. Um, it was like a few hundred bucks and I did a six week program. I had nothing created. I had somebody help me um, break down like what I would do. They interviewed me so then I knew what I did and they, I have a program director now who broke everything down. You know, it's good to use the resources of people who do things you can't. And then basically we went from the beta in 2012 with 12 women to making the program 
a 12 week program and we had over like about 60 people in the program. Wow. We had about a $50,000 launch and that was huge. So then from there, there were a lot of other things that came out of it and coaching and now I'm coaching coaches. So it really, you know, as a business coach, it really moved my business in another direction that I never thought that would be the direction I would go in, right? It wasn't like this was part of my plan. Yeah. Um, that's also having a plan. You have to be willing to throw it out. <laughs> and so now we just did um, a summit called Breakthrough to, uh, the Breakthrough to Coaching Experience with 15 other coaches and we're about to open up the program shortly uh, and my space is about having like two to three hundred people in that now so that's kind of where it is that now I've after a couple years of doing it I'm understanding the business I'm understanding what's not out there what people want because I talk to hundreds of people all the time because I don't want to have to have the pressure to come up with the ideas they tell me what they need which makes it easier for me to create it yeah um, you know I feel for all of us as entrepreneurs so I'm super excited about it and I also have a mastermind that I've worked with a you know a group of coaches that are now are creating their system so I didn't know I was even going to be this good at it you know and now I'm like whoa I actually can really do this and um, I really understand my market is, you know, what my market is non-certification coaches yeah. and helping people create their businesses. Um, so that would be my, you know, that's a couple years though, right? So, that's not like overnight. So obviously you took your ideas from hearing what people were saying to you by paying attention to what people were asking you. Totally. And then you had this idea and then you thought, I'm going to do something with it. And so obviously you kind of made it into a success now. But if you had to strip it back, what would be the steps you would tell someone else to do to replicate your success? Totally. And I love that question. Overall, the main thing is this. If you're in a rush, go get a job. Because like, if you're feeling the pressure of making money, have something else bringing money in because it is a creative experiment. Like, I just have to lay that out for y'all, okay? Mm -hmm. This is not a magic That's pill. A good point. <laughs> you, are, you are becoming a detective. Um, you're a detective. And I would even say an artist at the same time. You're becoming curious. That's the number one thing. So the first thing is identify who you want to work with. Um, and who you want to work with might be really identifying who's coming to you and asking for things or pay attention in Facebook groups or around you what people are talking about where you can step into that conversation and solve that problem. And, and I know you've all heard this, but it's not like problem. It's like, I want to become a coach. Do I need to be certified or not? That was the conversation I got into. And I'm saying you don't. And you can, but you, there's another way, right? So it's like, where are you stepping into a conversation and what are they already looking for that you can help them with? That's number one, okay? Number two is then speak to some of those people. Get on Skype. Have a couple questions to ask them what they're looking for. Um, find out more information and share what you're thinking of creating um, and see if it's a match. Yep, you know, sure. so it's just like very easy 15 minute conversation or sometimes longer that person may then tell you well this is what I did and this is and then da, 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 and it's like well this is what I'm doing are you looking does that sound like something you'd want to do yeah cool I'm, I'm doing a beta and there's only six spots I'll send you the information with a link you know you know that's pretty much it um, and you can then begin to do an outline from your interviews of what your program's going to be. So see, the whole point is the pressure isn't on you having to figure it all out okay. because everything shows up to you. They're telling you. And then you can do an outline of the content to help you create the program, whether it's free or paid. You can also have somebody interview you asking you how you did the thing that they want to know and then help you kind of work that out. Um, you don't need a sales page. You can just have an, a, an email with an invitation with the PayPal button um, or you let them come in for free. I know many top coaches who have multi six figure businesses that their first idea was like five people and it was totally free because they got to get feedback, they got testimonials, you know, and they also the, the biggest thing is they got to figure out if this is something they want to do. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you might have an idea and then realize, I don't really like doing this. <laughs> and then really, my final tip here would be, is after you go through the beta and you create it, and you can create it as you're going, people are going to be more supportive than not. Um, you get the 
you get feedback, you talk to each person, you get testimonials, you start to make improvements and you can discover what might be needed to really start to create the next version, right? The beta version to the 1.0 version. Um, and you know, the cool thing is, is that you, like I, my program was six weeks. Then when we made the 12 week program, we used most of that content, but we reorganized it. I mean, literally it's now the program's videos and we put money into it. But we also, you know, we had people signed up to do it. So we knew that it was in the direction of being a winner. And so really, you know, if you find out it's not a fit and it doesn't work for you, guess what? You can do the whole thing again for something else. Yeah, no, those are brilliant tips. And I think I love how you've broken it down into like a strategy that anyone can follow. It's literally mm -hmm. as simple as just do this first and then go to this stage. And I will also love the idea of, of going out there and asking people what they think and getting feedback because it's so important because I think so many people rush into ideas without talking to their target audience or people that might potentially be interested in buying from them and ask them what do you think about this or what would you like to see happening here and I just think it's so important because you can find out so much valuable information by doing that and not just wasting a bunch of money on something that no one is interested in so thank you so much for sharing those tips I think it will hopefully help everyone to figure out the formula for actually putting together a beta test and then actually launching it and making it brilliant so thank you so much for sharing that Oh, you're very welcome. Um, um, so, I will, um, so if you want to find out more about Hillary, I put all of her links over on the website, but it's hillaryrubin.com. And I'd also love to hear what you think about this. Have you ever had an idea and really wanted to launch it, but then just struggled and not really known how to do the beta testing side of things? Head over to the blog and leave a comment, and I will see you next week for another dose of inspiration.